Okay, here's something that I like to make when I go hunting, camping, fishing, whatever. Um, it's basically a, like a makeshift candle. What I've got is part of an egg carton. And you pretty much just dispose of those items. And then what I do is, is um, I collect the dryer lint. Now, when you're collecting the dryer lint, make sure you're drying clothes that are cotton. This makes the best wick. If you've got a lot of synthetics or wool and stuff, it doesn't seem to work as well. So, um, towels and cotton bed sheets seem to work the best. So this is what I usually use. So what I'm going to do now is, all I do is just pack some in here. Doesn't really matter what color the cotton lint is, as long as it's cotton. So I'm just going to pack that in there, not too tight, just so it's firm, but the uh, wax still has to soak through. So usually just a gentle push and that should be sufficient. If it tends to soak down too far, I've got a little bit left over. So then what I'm doing is I've melted paraffin wax and I've got it on tin foil so I don't make a mess of my counter. And then all we're going to do is just make sure it just soaks down through. I might have to do more here. Try to get it to soak down as best as possible. Well, it's going pretty good. You want to try and soak it to the bottom, through if you can. Make sure it's really good and soaked here. Now I can see that soaked through the bottom, so that should be pretty good. And then what you do is you let it cool, and I'll show you what it looks after you're done. Okay, so if you watch my other video, this is my makeshift candle. It is same as this, and this is still just cooling. But all you do is just light it up. Now this one, my last one pretty much was almost dead, so this is a new one I haven't really used yet. But once you get the thing started, it'll burn pretty good, and it's like one huge candle, so it works really well in starting fires. That's why I like to make these for when I'm out. So this will really start stubborn fires, plus it's full of wax, so it's not going to really get wet. I mean, it's soaked all the way through, you can see. And then you can just blow it out and reuse it. <coughs> anyway, so this is what I usually make for camping and fishing and stuff. If you go during, you know, hunting during colder months, and uh, you want to start a fire and it's a little stubborn, it's a little damp, whatever. These are what I use. They're great and try them out sometime. Thanks for watching.